What's up dudes, Chooch back with another one. Today I'm gonna be talking about the B Gold Extreme. Now this is a new electric unicycle about to hit the market coming up at the end of summer. And this is gonna be a 134 volt electric unicycle by B Gold. And this is gonna be a contender to the veteran patent. And this is about to just shake up the suspension and wheel market. I think this is exactly what a lot of us have been looking for, especially out of a B Gold wheel. And I think this one is going to deliver on exactly what we've been wanting guys um, some things about this wheel okay now i can't talk about the b goat extreme without also mentioning the veteran patent and speaking about that wheel a little bit as well so this is this video is going to be basically a comparison between the two i know a lot of people this is the two it comes down to you're thinking about the b goat extreme or you're thinking about the veteran patent and for me i would be in the exact same boat like if i were buying one of these two wheels right now I would be in the same boat as you trying to figure out which one to buy. And hopefully I can test both of them. Hopefully I can get my hands on both of them soon um, to make some videos and sh show you what's up. But let's do a quick rundown of this. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about these wheels and which one I'd get. All right. So B-Goat Extreme, dudes, this, this is wild. And just to start off with this, this is where we need to go. Okay. We need to go here. This is going to be the internals of the B-Goat Extreme. Now, this is a coil coil shock, okay? There's not been a single B-Goat wheel ever released that has a coil shock in it. The one suspension electric unicycle that we're seeing do all the big jumps, all the, the big sin stuff, is the S22 Pro. It has that coil suspension in it, and it is great, man. It can really, really tank over obstacles. It's forgiving, so if you overshoot a jump and you land in the flats, you can have enough suspension there to, you know, ride it out, like no problem. And the S22 Pro is a great wheel for that, but there's just no contender out there to the 22 Pro. I mean, or the S22 in the way that suspension works. That suspension just glides. And especially if you have that slider kit installed in there. But one of the main things that that not a lot of people liked in the S22 Pro was the whole suspension slider mechanism. But be good, man. One of the main things I like about the, here, I want to show you this too. Oh, sh All right, one of the, check this out. All right. So one of the main things that I'm seeing right now is we have the same suspension mechanism, uh, slider mechanism from the Master, from the T4, etc. And that was a great component. Okay, that's this middle part right here. And that I think is honestly a better mechanism than the S22. So if we're adding the high performance of B Goad wheels, plus we're keeping the one part of the suspension mechanism that was good, they've updated this whole back part right here to where this coil suspension plugs into basically. And what we're getting ultimately now is just a very smooth looking suspension wheel. I mean, this looks like this is what a suspension wheel should have been, you know, year, like two, three years ago, man. Like when they first came out, this looks like it's right, dude. And we're seeing full CNC, um, you know, aluminum body up here at the top. I'm, I assume this is CNC aluminum up here. You got your motherboard at the top. Now, one thing I really, really like about this design, guys, that just caught my eye immediately is that these battery boxes on this wheel look extremely durable. And they're not wide like on the EX30. On the EX30, they're wide and they're low, okay? They're lower than the actual pedal. So what happens is when you're riding into a staircase, you're riding into an uphill, anything like that, those battery boxes are low right here. And they'll snag, dude, whether you're off-roading, anything like that, on the EX30, okay? So what we're seeing here is, and then check this out. There's no gap right here. With the EX30, there was like open space up here, but your battery boxes were low. This looks like a way better design. So the battery boxes are actually th um, thinner. Well, not thinner. They're, the whole design right here is actually thinner, but it's a more rigid design. So think about if you got like a large piece of uh, aluminum right here, um, as opposed to a smaller, um, more... Uh, just the design and you know any engineer is just going to look at this and be like okay this is a better design and it's going to be way more rigid and solid right here as opposed to a wider um, metal encasement which can be pr prone to side impacts and damage you know that way this looks like just 
a very, very rigid battery enclosure, these metal boxes for them. And having them go up high like this, guys, means they're not going to be any low snag points like on the EX30. And also, one of the kind of the one of the downfalls with having with having this though is you're going to have a more top heavy wheel. Okay, so this is going to be a more top heavy wheel as opposed to the EX30. Okay, this is going to be a little bit top heavier, but it's going to be like the V12. It's going to be sort of like the T4 and feel like those wheels because you have all your components up here at the top. You got uh, your, your batteries up higher. But when it comes to off-roading, that's what you want. You don't want anything low on, on your wheel. You want everything up high. And ultimately, that's what you want because you can get your pedals up high. Everything is out of the way of snag points and out of the way of hitting rocks and stuff like that. So with an off-roading oriented wheel, that's the better design for sure, okay? Now, I love my veteran Sherman. I like like it. I can only imagine the EX30 would ride pretty much like the veteran Sherman, just with a little bit more pop, pep to its step. But it has that low center of gravity, you know, and a lot of people like that for road riding, but it just cannot work um, for off-roading, man. You got to have everything out of the way of the rocks and, the, you know, roots and ruts. Now, this looks great. Look at this. This looks smooth. Man, this is exactly what you want to see. You don't want to see any bind points. You want to just see it free flowing like this. And man, that looks good. That's looking good right there. Now you got the veteran patent. And now this is going to be basically the straight competitor to the B Goat Extreme. Okay. The veteran patent right now, the first few ones are hitting the market, but the pre orders guys are limited on the veteran patent. You'll actually see that if you go to pre order it right now, the, lim the pre orders are limited and they're going to be cutting them off soon so if you want to pick up the veteran patent place your pre-orders below if you use the link below it gives me a little kickback at no extra cost to you and i greatly appreciate it whether you get the the be good extreme or the veteran patent either way but the veteran patent does have limited pre-orders just letting y'all know that okay and veteran patent price three thousand ninety nine bucks and the, with the um initial deposit it's a one thousand dollar initial deposit and you pay the two thousand ninety nine uh, dollars once it lands at port. Okay, so your pre-order is a thousand dollars, two thousand ninety-nine bucks when it lands at port. Okay, so this wheel really isn't priced too bad. You know, it's at that three thousand dollar price point, but you're getting a Leprechim machine, and you know my OG Sherman from Leprechim, Leprechim has held up great. I've had it for like four years now, and it is not giving me a single problem. It's a phenomenal machine. Okay, so the difference on these though is this. So on this wheel, your suspension is not going to be a coil suspension. It's not going to be in the back of the wheel. Your suspension is the fast ace um, suspension, just like you have on the Veteran Sherman S. This is going to be an air suspension, and it's going to be directly, like basically directly parallel with your pedals. So kind of like the V11, like the V13, etc. that air suspension is going to be what you're going to be on. Now, I honestly think... I think going for I think air suspension is is okay for right now, and I think it works great in the EUCs. But I think we're gonna eventually see a point where everything goes to coil suspension once they dial in that whole mechanism that B goes trying to to dial in in the back where that that linkage and everything connects. Okay, that right there is a hard um, design to engineer and get right. So that's why we've just seen simple suspension like this is kind of directly over the pedals just because it's easier to integrate you know less stuff to break less stuff to go wrong easier to to implement honestly you got to think about this like the reason you don't see dirt bikes riding on the trails and stuff like that or riding races with air suspension is because it's just not as durable as a coil is think about this if you're out riding this thing and lord forbid you know you're you blow out your suspension or whatever once your air suspension is blown out it's done. Is it? You know, you it's blown out. You got to repair the seals, whatever it may be. With coil suspension, you know, it's it's going to be that coil in there no matter what. And you, whether you drop hard, whatever it may be, you still have suspension. Now you might go so hard that you send it and mess up your rebound reservoir or something like that, but you still have suspension. Okay, like you still got suspension there. And that's why, like, coil suspension is just a way better idea. I think it's just a, 
it offers way more longevity and honestly i feel like it works way better for your big jumps your big mega sins and everything like that this air suspension just it, it ain't enough for huge sins okay so if you want to send it big you want to hit like metal mx jumps and land you know and do some crazy shit the be good extreme is going to be way more of the wheel you want to buy um, as opposed to this if you're a guy that just wants something durable tried and true that's going to last and not give you a problem like leopard Kim is just a great company guys uh I, really i don't think you could go wrong getting the, the veteran patent or, or leopard Kim patent um i i I really don't. It's just a different type of rider. I think the Leopard Kim is more of a trail riding wheel. It's more of um, you know a casual cruise around town wheel, etc. The Be Good Extreme is going to be exactly what it says. It's going to be more of an extreme riding wheel where you can, like, if you're doing like an off road race and stuff that has jumps and stuff in it, like the Be Good Extreme is going to be what you're going to want. You know, I just feel like that coil suspension is going to be superior. When you're actually on it, you're actually riding it, you're actually racing the machine, that coil suspension in that Be Good Extreme is going to be awesome. But I do think for longevity and durability, you cannot beat Leopard Kim. So do what you want with that, man. So that's, it's a hard decision. Power, durability, and comfort are the key traits that can be used to describe the highly anticipated 126-volt veteran patent. Patent is a performance powerhouse and the latest flagship suspension electric unicycle from Leopard Kim, a Chinese premium electric vehicle company specializing in one-wheeled personal mobility. Patent has a riding range of up to 70 miles on a single charge. Now that's, you probably can't get that. Honestly, you can probably get like 50 miles out of the patent at 2200 um, watt hours, okay? You can probably get about 50, you, just depending on how you ride. 70 is pushing it, okay? Okay. Um, 2,220 watt hours for this battery. The Be Good Extreme is going to be 2,400 watt hours. So you get about 180 more watt hours, which is definitely not a big deal at all. Uh, I wouldn't base my decision on the two over that at all. Okay. It's going to be the Samsung 50E batteries. Um, it's going to weigh about 90 pounds. So, I mean, it's going to be a, a heavy, you know, heavy. The patent is a heavy little wheel. It's a chunky little wheel, dude. Even though it's smaller, it's heavy, okay? And it's going to have that the fast ACE oil suspension um, or oil-based suspension system with 80 millimeters of travel. You see riders say that the, the patent's torque and peak of raw performance and the quality of its construction could make it a massive hit in the EUC community. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. I think this is interesting right here. So look at this. So look at the weight, though. So the weight of the Veteran Sherman Max right here, guys, at 3,600 watt hours is 86 pounds. And look at this one. The Veteran Patton with 2,200 watt hours is at 89 pounds. So the Veteran Patton's heavier than the Veteran Sherman Max, okay? So keep that in mind, man. That's crazy. I would not have expected that. And that just shows, man, you adding all that suspension mechanism and stuff in there, it adds weight to it, you know? So... It's just one of those things. If you want more range, the Veteran Sherman Max is still a great option. You know, if you still if you want more range, or the Sherman S. Sherman S is 96 pounds, 3,600 watt hours. That's very interesting. This one has the most watt hours and the lowest weight, the Sherman Max. In 2023, the mid-mount suspension system by Fast Ace and Leopard Kim may provide the best dampening and comfort on the market. The hydraulic system uses Fast Ace technology from downhill mountain biking. It has 12 uh, 18 clicks of compression and rebound and 12 millimeters preload uh, adjustments and a 37 millimeter um, stanchion. What the fuck does that mean? A frame that holds a head of a cow in place, especially to facilitate milking. Okay. Interesting. All right, has a 37 millimeter um, stanchion. Apparently that's something, what does that mean? A frame that holds the head of a cow in place, especially to facilitate milking. All right, that's good to know that it has that. And overall shock absorption strike of 80 millimeters. Good, good shit, man. So we can milk cows and we can do big sins. That's what I'm looking for. 
Many EGC riders in the community, community praise Leopard Kim Sherman S for having the most comfortable suspension systems on the market. The patent, you, the patent uses the same patented suspension technology. There are three weight options to choose from. Please reach out to us if you need recommendations. Please note that suspension modules are swappable. Please consider full um, net load when selecting options. So basically, you got three options to pick, guys, and you want to do this based off what your weight is wearing all your gear. So when you're fully geared up, helmet, you know, your riding shoes, everything, that's what you want to base this off of. And you can pick that whenever you go to uh, order your wheel. You pick w what weight you want on the your veteran patent, okay? Display has the updated top-mounted parameter display. Now, this display is sweet, dudes. It it looks like it's nice. I, I like the way the, the buttons, everything looks like it's nicely waterproofed and just... It looks nice. Like the new screen looks great. Okay, so the new front mounted, like there's basically j side pads that are screwed in and mounted to the um, veteran patent. I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. They basically are like just toe pads that screw into the side of it. And you can basically look at this. So you can, so the toe pads are right here. See this, like this is your toe pad right here. And so you can really jump, and this is a like solid mounting point right here for, for really getting some lift off. You know, you aren't pulling up on Velcro. This is a solid mounting point right there for your, your jumps. But you basically, but with, with that in place, you're going to have to either modify your side pads or either get just a, a back pad or either cut the bottom of your front side pad off um, or either get pads that are made for the patent itself um, because this right here, even though this is a great design and I like that, that, that it's there, you're still going to need a, a pad back here for your braking and then something for your shins to get this thing going, um, you know, and having leverage to get it going and stopping and whatnot. It comes with spike pedals, adjustable pedals are made of magnesium alloy, which makes them more durable, um, have loaded tension to make them more stable and stop them from flopping around. I like that. Like they click into place. Sweet. So build quality on this thing is one of the main things that why people are going to buy the veteran patent over any wheel, over the be good extreme over anything else is simply build quality. And while the patent commands a premium price, it's also heavy duty. Um, she, it's made to withstand spills and hard falls. 89 pound, you know, weight on this thing. It is heavy, but um, it like, all right. So build quality on this thing is going to be a big reason why people tend to go with the Leopard Kim, you know, the veteran patent. Um, it's just simply, they're tried and true, man. Like you look at all the wheels, just the ones that hold up over time. The Shermans, you know, Leopard Kim is just a great company. Uh, the body has heavier integral seven, 7071 aviation grade alloy uh, the body handles and has a dual anti-collision uh, battery boxes on this thing keeping your battery packs and motors safer during a spill um, i'm liking that man like all the, having the, the more solid battery packs is just a big thing and that's one thing this um, looks solid on the be good extreme as well as on this one and that's that's good. With the newest crash test videos from Leprechaun, we can see that the patent shell is un, unharmed, which protects the battery and solidifies uh, Leprechaun's reputation for making some of the most popular, well-built, and quality-controlled wheels on the EUC market. And that's true, man. Like some of the like videos I've seen of just crash testing this thing, it it looks like it holds up, and that's what people want to. I mean, that's what people want, man. When you're spending this type of money on something. You want something that's going to hold up, especially when you with EUCs. Like it's one, it's a big expense that you're not really insuring. So like with a motorcycle, like you're getting that motorcycle and you're putting insurance on it. You know, like if you buy like a ten thousand dollar motorcycle, you're going to get insurance on that thing. With the EUC, you know, you're spending like three thousand dollars on it. You're probably not going to get insurance on it. So you want something that it's going to hold up. You know, it's something that can take some abuse. And I just, I, I feel like. This one really can do that. It, it looks like it can take some abuse and, and just keep going. Patent chassis was designed to be strong, durable, lightweight, and could pro provide a high level of protection um, to its battery pack and core components essential to performance and reliability of this machine for long term. E-wheels units go through a uh, thorough third party um, uh, quality inspection on this thing for uh, battery packs, motors, firmware, and more. 
So, and this is what the bottom of the control board looks like. This is what the top looks like. It looks very nice. Everything's nicely sealed on this thing. Um, it just looks professionally done, man. It just looks like a professionally done wheel. So who is the veteran patent for? Uh, given the veteran patent sheer power, weight, and range and capacity, this uh, wheel is perfect for riders seeking a higher torque 18-inch wheel with all the latest and, and best chassis, shell, controller, and battery technology in an electric unicycle. The patent would be great for a daily commuter riding at high speeds and steep gradients. The patent is not the best option for absolute beginners. Patent is for advanced riders with at least three months riding experience. While it's not made for beginners with the right amount of time and effort used to develop foot muscles and balance, any person can learn and handle the wheel, which I think I think this is the right size wheel. If you want to get this wheel as your first wheel, I think um, you know the veteran patent would be a, a great wheel to get. It's just going to be fast. You know, you got to know what you're getting. It's going to be a fast wheel. Same with the Be Good Extreme. It's going to be a fast wheel. But it's not too big. It's not too heavy. It's not like the V13 or like the Master Pro or something like that. It's just too much. Um, I think these wheels are pr the perfect size where anybody can really learn on it. If you want to go big, you want to go straight for something like this where you're not, you know, going up the ladder of EUCs and, you know, taking the st stepping stones, you know, going from like a V5 to a V12 to a, you know, getting then something, you know, faster. If you want to just go all in and get something that's top notch right off the bat, I think, and a lot of people want to do that. A lot of people buying EUC just want to go all in and get, you know, the best of the best and not keep buying stuff. And I think this is one of the ones that is going to be tried and true and, and, and not not do you wrong if, if you're in that same boat. The pad can hold up to a 265-pound rider, um, which is plenty, man, like that. I don't think just because it's a smaller wheel, you should look at getting, you know, like if you're a person out there that's like, hey, uh, I'm a heavier weight rider. Should I get like the V13 or the Patton? I think you can really go either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, both of them are going to be able to, you know, have enough power and have a, you know, rigid enough build to, to move you around. No problem. All right. So this is asking is, is the Patton better than the Sherman S? Like the EX30, Sherman S owners seek out a larger 3,600 3, watt hour pack for the high speed long range riding. While the Patton is equipped with the same suspension system and similar drivetrains, its 126 volt system excels in torque and acceleration, but falls short in range compared to the Sherman S's 3,600 uh, 3, watt hour capacity. The 2,220 watt hour capacity is designed for riders who don't seek the additional battery range or weight of the Sherman S. The decision between the two can be challenging. But ultimately, the weight is about the same of the two, really. So I just think that it's the Sherman, the veteran patent is going to be more nimble and better for trails and like your short little deliberate trail rides and stuff, like where you're going actually to a track or trail or whatever it may be. The Sherman S is just like for your long range, you know, commuting and whatnot. That has more range and a bigger, bigger overall diameter tire. And you're just going to be able to cruise roads on it for farther and with more ease. The, but the Patton, I think, is just a more performance based wheel than the Sherman S. Is the Veteran Patton better than the Beagode EX30? The Beagode EX30 is priced at $900 more and offers a 60% larger battery pack. The EX30 is excellent for riders with a more extended riding experience with blistering top speeds and a high torque 134, 134 volt acceleration and torque. The suspension, weight, price, range will be critical factors in shopping between the two models. Is the veteran patent better than the Bego T4? Bego T4 owners will prefer its light, lighter weight and lower cost combination. The T4 comes at a $750 less price tag and is equipped with a lean chassis, a Samsung 40T battery packs. The T4 is a fantastic option for budget riders who want no frills, lightweight, and a customizable beginner suspension wheel. Is the veteran patent better than the Kingsong S22 Pro? The patent and the S22 Pro have top level performance and their battery voltages and prices are about the same. Some customers prefer the S22 as this model is in stock, lighter in weight, has a larger 20 inch tire and a more significant 130 millimeter dampening than the Patton. The S22 Pro comes with upgraded sliders and a four kilowatt rated motor making it a solid choice. Is the veteran Patton better than the Be Good Master? 
The patent offers the latest technology at a lower price point when compared to our Litech Begoed Masters. Customers like the Master because it is lighter, lighter in weight, has a proven third batch version, can be customized, and comes with a 134 volt Samsung um, and comes with 134 volt Samsung batteries with a higher voltage option. For a no frills, high speed, lower weight street cruiser, the Master is a viable option to consider. Does the veteran patent have a warning system? The latest firmware has display and buzzer warnings for battery, temperature, overcharging, balancing, high voltage, charging rates, drivetrain and overheating, and halls, hall errors. Please watch the display codes and buzzers while operating or setting up your machine. So top speed, 50 mile per hour on this thing, which I wanna see guys, I wanna see the Patton and the Begoat Extreme side by side, and if they can actually do 50 mile per hour ex like sustained, and what that looks like. Like I wanna see what 50 mile per hour looks like on the Patton sustained over time, and if it is doable. If you can go 51, 52, maybe 53, um, and how long can you do that? And is it is it wobbly, is it you know stable? I, I wanna try them out and see ultimately um, if 50 miles per hour on these a little bit smaller wheels still feels safe, you know, and I don't think you're going to be going 50 miles per hour all the time on these, you know, smaller wheels like this, but having um, the availability to, to do it is great. You know, if you got to boost up and get up to 50 miles per hour real quick, I like being able to do that. You know, that's, that's definitely cool. All right. Now looking at the Beagle Extreme, it's going to be coming the Next batch, like if you pre-order it right now, you're going to be getting this late summer. So Be Good Extreme and the Veteran Patent, you're going to be both getting them towards the end of summer, unfortunately. But if you want to place your pre-order for either one of the two, do it below. It gives me a little kickback at no extra cost to you, and I greatly appreciate it. Whatever wheel you pre-order, whatever wheel you buy, I'm not trying to tell you to get one or the other. I'm just giving you my honest opinion on this, guys, giving you the rundown on it. So if you click that link, it gives me a little kickback. Greatly appreciate it. All right, weight on, on this one is going to be 80 plus pounds to be determined. So it might be, you know, I'm thinking probably around 89 pounds, just like the patent. Um, 3,500 watt C40 high torque motor. This motor is 500 more watts than the veteran patent. Uh, 50 mile per hour top speed, but it's to be determined, it says right here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to see side by side, man, like do some speed tests on these and see what's up. Um, going to have that coil suspension in there which is awesome 134 volts which is a higher voltage than the patent patents 126 volts you got a little bit more watt hours of battery on the Beagle extreme and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much running down the two um, what you can expect in these guys and honestly if i had to pick one if, if you had to ask me which one to get i'd say all right if i want something tried and true with ultimate longevity that you know is just from one of the best companies ever i'd go with the patent if i was feeling a little bit you know wanting to go out the box a little bit wanting to get what could potentially be the best off-roading electric unicycle ever and could potentially be just something that dominates the race scene all next year i would be getting the Goat extreme and i just i feel like the Goat extreme at 134 volts even though Bego doesn't have as good a reputation as Leprechaun when it comes to this stuff. If they get this wheel right and they, they spend some time on it, they work all the kinks out on this, and they launch us a 134-volt wheel um, with 3,500-watt hours and 3,500-watt uh, motor C40 high torque with coil suspension coming from a Bego, it's going to be a crazy machine, guys. It is going to be a top-performing electric unicycle, hands down. But if you want something very similar, tried and true, and that has limited pre-orders right now and you want to get it, the veteran patent is not a bad option either, okay? So I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them is what I want to say with this. It's hard to pick, and this is why it's a longer video than normal because I, I know a lot of people are on the fence about these two wheels right now. But um, it's, it's, it's hard to say, dude. It's hard to pick. I mean, it really is. You're wanting the latest and greatest top performing extreme race machine for off-road, get the Begoat Extreme. If you want something tried and true for daily commuting and and basically your hybrid wheel that's going to be good for road, going to be good for trails, racing, everything in between, 
If it's going to be durable, get the veteran patent. I'll leave it at that. Anyways, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. I'll see you dudes in the next one. If you want to place your pre-order for either one of these wheels or any EUC, hit it below and it gives me a little kickback and no extra cost to you. I greatly appreciate it. Peace out.